Audio Malaysia is one of the most famous beer brands and the largest alcoholic beverage business in Malaysia. However, the original name of the company was known as Guinness Malaysia Limited, which was established in 1964. Hanika Malaysia stated in Petaling Jaya Selamo and there were more than 500 people employees. The vision of Hanika Malaysia Berhad is to brew the best beer and extend that same passion to all of the brands, products and activities. The mission of Hanika Malaysia is to promote the enjoyment of our beers and ciders and to take the lead in advocating responsible consumption. Thus, they came out with a strategy of evergreen to make sure that they can brew nothing but the best beer while delivering superior and greater growth for their brands, product and activities. Also, there are several objectives of Heineken Malaysia such as to make a better world 2030, put sustainability and accountability first. Second, to become the most connected and relevant brewer in the digital era for customers and consumers. Next is to maximize the potential of Heineken Malaysia's employees and others related. Moreover, Heineken Malaysia has a tendency to promote and groom its management team internally as they were divided into parties in such position as Managing Director, Finance Director, Sales Director and the last one is Marketing Director. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Nadal Muhammad Alif and my metric number 260488 and now um, I will explain uh, three points uh, the first one is uh, point 1.1 uh, 1 .1. Heineken Malaysia business is affected by the presence of illicit alcohol in the market the presence of illicit alcohol in the market is one of the strategic management issues affecting Heineken business in Malaysia in fact the problem persists and many people are negatively impacted by the existence of the illicit alcohol market which dominant the Malaysian market, small world alcohol has market share of 28%. The root cause of the illicit alcohol is much high excess duty and tax rate of around 15% on alcoholic beverage. As a result, not only is Heineken Malaysia affected by the presence of illegal alcohol and potential losers as a result of this factor, but the government is also said to be losing uh, 1.2 billion uh, ringgit per year in tax revenue as a result of it in Malaysia, illegal alcohol account for 40% of total alcohol sales. In addition, the negative effect of illegal alcohol have an effect on consumer health because there is no clear quality control or production. There may be hazardous and toxic substances that can harm consumer. Of course, the losses suffered by consumer and the government have an impact on Heineken Malaysia business. First, customer who are unsure whether the alcohol they are pushing is illegal or illegal will result in a loss of revenue for Heineken. Particularly, if consumers are unaware that alcohol is illegal and will have a negative impact on their health, causing them to be traumatized, and they will not buy again, considering all alcohol to be illegal alcohol. As a result, in addition to the possibility of a reduction in purchasing power, Heineken's image as a legal alcohol company will suffer. Uh, let's go to 1.2 limited business activity the COVID-19 pandemic has spread across the globe and no one expected it to have such an impact on the global economy similarly the impact of the pandemic on Heineken Malaysia business has resulted in issues such as the cleaning financial returns, returns, and ongoing industry challenge for Heineken Malaysia. Before one, before the government announced the disease was entering an endemic phase in April 2022, Malaysia was one of the first countries to act enacting P 
PKP to, to stop spread of the COVID outbreak. And it can Malaysia face restriction on its business activity when the PKP was implemented in 2020. Let's spread 1.3 that influence of tax implemented by the government. Additionally, this bit reporting extremely outstanding earning in, in, in its 2018 year and financial report and Malaysia will hike product pricing in relation to the country difficult climate. The company that expressed a reservation about the continuing the further sitting factors such as intense competition, competition, the new soil and service tax that will be implemented in September 2018. And President concerned about illicit alcohol, according to Roland Bala, Managing Director of Henneke Malaysia, he mentioned uh, that the external situation remains stuck and with global growth rate de decreasing, currency volatility and a commodities market unpredictability. Henneke Malaysia will need to take a careful approach cost control. Assalamualaikum, my name is Safiano Binti Azri, metric number 273846. I will continue the presentation with strategic issues or problem for Heineken Malaysia company. So the fourth issues or problem is the urge to perform sustainability. In the business world, sustainability is linked to a company's overall strategy which takes into account everything from the production to logistics to customer service which is very important in increasing the long-term benefit of an environment emphasize the concept of sustainability and knowledge is that the environment is a limited resources Haneke Malaysia concerned about environmental concerns whereby its worldwide goals is to improve the quality of life on earth Haneke has reaffirmed its priority to water sources protection it reiterated its goal of being 100% balanced for water utilization water utilized in production Next, for the fifth issues or problem is government regulations and culture differences. Government controls for alcoholic beverage companies may be tighter in some nations that are concerned about their residents' alcohol usage. Taxes on alcoholic beverage fluctuated between nations. Because Muslim constitute the majority of nations, preserving religious and cultural sensitivity toward other races is critical. Hennekel Company must devise a variety of marketing techniques. Despite the fact that brewers are part of the food and beverage F&B business, malt liquor, beer products are not considered as necessary items. Although Hennekel produce legal beer in Malaysia, Illicit alcohol smuggling puts the corporation in risk since commercial activity involving alcohol are strongly emphasized by various parties, particularly those who are sensitive to Muslim. Last but not least, the sixth issues or problem is economic risk. Prolonged lockdown issues has a negative impact on the sales revenue of Hennekin Company. Hennekin Company is one of the company affected by the virus spread as it faced growing costs for crucial raw resources such as brewing aluminium as well as ongoing shipment and trucking cost rises. The Hennekin Company was forced to cease brewing operation for 11 weeks from June 2021 to August 2021 for the second time in two years where operational limitations were put on its food and beverage FMB operation. Hennekin Malaysia Berhad, Hennekin Malaysia, was forced to close their Sungai Wei Brewer for 11 weeks from June to August 2021 after brewers were categorized as non essential and included on the National Security Council's negative list. So that is all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Teddy Salman Sasiani and my metric number is 260403 and I'm going to present about SWOT analysis of Hennekin Malaysia Berhad. The first component of SWOT analysis is strength. 
the first internal strength of Heineken Malaysia Berhad, his high reputation. Heineken Malaysia Corporate uh, currently reflects a good organizational behavior as evidenced by its relationship with stakeholder, and also they got the customer trust and loyalty in Heineken Malaysia products. Heineken Malaysia also carry out the corporate social responsibility activities in order to participate in sustainable economic development. The second strike of uh, Heineken Malaysia Berhad is crack the sex self marketing campaign. Heineken Malaysia Berhad has success uh, launched numerous successful campaign, and more than 10% Heineken media budget is the dedicated dedicate to marketing campaign, such as while your drive don't drain, rise our bars, and save our street food. And third, having well-educated employees who work together to form an innovative company. Employers uh, of Heineken Malaysia are given an uh, online course uh, such as uh, healthy and safe, technical knowledge and leadership practice to ensure they follow a procedure and use their qualities and ex expertise to achieve a company goals. And last strength of Heineken Malaysia Berhad is consistent free cash flow. Heineken Malaysia Berhad actually create cash flow from operation while also preserving a, a hook uh, amount of free cash flow. And next to the weaknesses. The first weakness of Heineken Malaysia Berhad is they only produce on regional variants for each for each product, which different um, with their competitor Carlsberg, that have a different version of beer with many flavors. And the second weakness is, is Heineken Malaysia offering us uh, more costly than competitor. Next to the opportunities, first, uh, Heineken Malaysia can produce a low cup beer. Low cup beer is one of Heineken opportunity to provide new breakthrough in order to create uh, the latest product. And also they can use a uh, TikTok for marketing opportunity because of the high number of TikTok users in, in Malaysia. They can creating uh, interesting content by seeing uh, advertisement on the platform or uh, creating a content challenge and Heineken will be able to gain a new customer and increase engagement. And the last opportunity is Heineken Malaysia has the opportunity to develop a strategic partner. To improve business, Heineken can enter into a strategic partnership. For example, Heineken Malaysia can look for companies to collaborate to help each other to achieve their marketing goals. Next to the last word analysis, trade. First, contrabeer in the market. Contrabeer is a trade because it can close off revenue for government and Heineken. It also will affect a Heineken Malaysia image. Second, government rules and laws. Regulation and taxes are government rules and laws that may change for time uh, by time depending on the law. To maximize the company works, Heineken Malaysia must be prepared with the best scenario. And last of the trade is other brands like Kirin and Killarney, not as famous uh, like Heineken and Tiger. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Shahida Binti Mashaf with matrix number 273675. So next I'm going to explain on the TOAST matrix analysis which is actually the extension to SWOT analysis. So in TOAST matrix analysis, we're going to match strengths with opportunities, strength with threats, weakness with opportunities and also weakness with threats. So first we're going to look at the SO strategies which is actually the strengths opportunity strategy. <coughs> So the first one is S1 and O1, which is having a strong reputation and to produce low carb beer. So Heineken can use its high reputation by producing low carb beer. And the second SO strategy is S2 and O2, in which Heineken can use the TikTok platform to boost the effectiveness of marketing strategies. And the third one is S4 and O3, which is Heineken can develop a strategic partner as to help it maintain its consistent free cash flow, which is actually its uh, strength. And then we're going to look at the ST strategies, which is the strengths and threat strategies. So the first is S2 and T3. So Heineken can design an effective marketing campaigns to promote the brands in order to control the threats, which is the threat of having other brands like Kirin and Kilkenny that are not as famous as Guinness and also Tiger. 
The next ST strategy is S3 and T1 and T2, which is Heineken can eliminate the risk of having illegal beer on the market by implementing a good solution with the assistance of well-educated workers. Workers. Next, we move on to weakness and opportunity strategies. The first one is weakness one and opportunities one, in which the weak uh, by producing low cup beer of the uh, opportunities one. This company, Heineken, can help to solve the issue of the weakness of produce only original variant for each brand. And the next WO strategies, weakness opportunity strategy, is weakness uh, 2 and also opportunity 3, in which Heineken can make an effective partnership to cope with the superior product pricing strategy. And the last one is WT strategies with is the weakness and threat strategies. The first is weakness 2 and threat 1, in which Heineken can monitor and lower its price to eliminate the threat of illegal beer in the market. And last but not least, weakness 2 and threat 3, in which Heineken can establish a better pricing strategy to market lower brands like Kirin and also King Kenny. That is all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Amira Shadab binti Muhammad Zailan and my message rate number is 272241. I will explain about the best strategy recommendation to Heineken company. The first one is maintain a great reputation by follow the rules and regulation. <coughs> Each nation has their own a rule uh, that must be observed by the local uh, community as well as Malaysia. <coughs> Heineken company uh, has been listed at Busan, Malaysia for a long time. That's why they have uh, the company has a benefit uh, because they have a license to conduct a business at Malaysia but must be followed the rules and regulation. The second point is both the effectiveness of marketing strategy to upstanding the branding. To achieve the market segmentation, Heineken company uh, can strengthen their advertising material national tactics such as making promotion, uh, generating banner and promo at diverse social media like uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok and so on. The last point is collaborate with important partner to develop superior product pricing plan. Heineken must collaborate with partnership uh, to deliver raw material at cheaper rate so that beer price at Heineken can be also sold at reduced price to their customer. That's all from our group. Thank you. Audio channel.